Hey guys, did you ever try to visualize your large volume of geojson data into the leaflet map? If you tried so, your browser might not respond or probably got crashed. But I found the solution where I was successful to load my 180 MB geojson file without using server directly through client side. It's interesting, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's get it started. For the testing purpose, actually I have the ctlots.geojson file, which is around 180 MB. You can see the size here. And then I'm going to load this data into the leaflet map. This data represents the city and country of San Francisco subdivision parcels. I downloaded this from the GitHub. So yeah, so I'm going to load this data using the vector tile. So for this, actually, I have write the some basic structure uh, of the leaflet js so here you can see i have loaded the leaflet js link and then i have initialized the map height and width and then i have id map and then here you can see the leaflet js uh, link and then i have assigned the map variable and added the osn map okay if you load this on the browser so you can see the map which look like this so this is the just the OSM background map. So I'm going to load my actual data set uh, within this map. So for loading the GeoJSON data, actually we have to uh, we have to make the vector tile. So I'm going to use this package leaflet GeoJSON VT, which helps to create the vector tile on the fly using the GeoJSON data. So it's the uh, it, this package is inspired by the uh, GeoJSON VT, uh, which which is developed by the Mapbox. So here uh, you can see we have to simply uh, simply download the leaflet GeoJSON VT.js file, and then we also need to uh, add the GeoJSON VT.js file. So I'm simply going to copy this line, and then maybe I I'll add it here uh, in the uh, script tag so leaflet geojson vt and then i have to uh, i have to part to the js file so i have to download this file first so for downloading this file this is inside the src i have to download this leaflet geojson vt.js file so i'll click the raw and then simply uh, download it so simply control s to save it so I'm going to save it uh, in my vector tile folder. So I'll just click save. So my file is downloaded or you can simply manually download this file uh, simply by cloning this repo as well. So you can simply clone this repo, download the zip file and then uh, get the SRC folder and then you can uh, simply download it. So here is my leaflet geojson bt.js file so maybe i have to assign the path so that means it's on the same path so i can simply uh, write like this so now i assign the path so now what we have to do is we have to add this code and then we have to load our geojson data so for this i can simply copy this code and then i can paste it here so here in the option actually uh, it will allow us to uh, like load our vector tile up to zoom level 16 but uh, maybe i can change it to the 20 because we need the uh, vector tile uh, our geojson data even in the 20 zoom level as well you don't have to touch this tolerance and debug is also okay this these options are actually coming from the geojson vt package and then this uh, for this style actually this style is coming from the geojson style so you can simply put whatever style you want and then after that you have to write uh, yarl.geojson.vt 
and then instead of this geojson you have to provide your data so my data is in the ctlots.geojson file so it's loading here because it's huge file around 180 uh, 80 mb so it might take some time and then after that i can simply write the var data equal to and then i can save it and then i can simply change the extension uh, to the dot js right so since i already did it so i am not going to change it so here you can see the same file with the var data so i have the ctlots.geojson uh, file uh, assigned with assigned as the variable name is data so i'm going to simply load this file in the html and then i can use this file so here ct lots data so the data will be the script src and then dot slash data and inside data i have to load the uh, ct lots dot js right so in the ctlots.js actually our geojson data is assigned as the variable called data which represent the actual geojson data right this data represent the actual geojson data in the uh, javascript so i can simply change this geojson to the data so that l.geojson.pt and then uh, data and then we assign these options and then if we add it, add to the map, then if I save it, if I try to visualize my map, now my map will contain the uh, our geojson data, the city data uh, using vector tiles. So let's see how it. All right. So my data is loaded here. You can see uh, the actual data set. So this color are uh, coming from my style. So I have the fill color is this and then color is this. So this color are coming uh, due to uh, I assign this color. So if I like zoom in and zoom out, it will like take less time than the uh, directly loading the geojson file. So here is my actual data so you can see the data like this so it's like not not that much uh, smooth but it's more um, feasible way to load your geojson data in the uh, using only the client side without server right so i think uh, here are lots of millions of uh, like features so that's why it it is taking time so uh, it's you can see you might uh, see here so if i zoom out so it will only render the um, render the few features so that it's faster so it will automatically uh, tolerance tolerate the our actual data so here uh, okay so this is the way of loading your geojson data properly uh, without using a server so if you like this technique in this video please hit the uh, star button here and then please subscribe my channel to get more info about your web mapping and web gis technology so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next